Hi, this is Mark from LongOnWatch.com, and today, finally, I get to show you the uh, newly reinvented or reimagined Seiko 5 line. I did see these in Basel. I was not allowed to talk about it. I was not allowed to take any photographs of it. Uh, so pre-production pieces, I liked what I saw. I'm very happy to be carrying them now. Seiko USA is bringing in uh, 17 different SKUs. Uh, I have 16 of them in the store now as you're watching this. Uh, limited quantities currently, you know, we'll get more in the future. Um, I have six to show you here. If I show you all 16 or 17, it's just going to take too much time. Uh, but pretty much Seiko is, like I said, reimagining the Seiko 5 lineup. It's a different, um, it's a different logo uh, for the brand and definitely a step up in, I would say, the build quality and the styling of the watches. So I don't want to bore you with too much talk. Let's, uh, let's check them out. Normally I don't care too much about the box, but I'll just show it to you quickly. It is a newly designed box. Seiko logo, black outer cover, sticker, and then when you open it, you have a little compartment for the um, warranty booklet and the instruction booklet, and then the box itself. That's your newly stylized Seiko 5 logo. Looks like an S, looks like 5, I don't know, something like that. Uh, pillow, obviously the box, <laughs> the watch is right now uh, on the table in front of me. So here are the six models I'm going to show you. Uh, they are all the same basic watch as far as size, movement. The only, di the only variations are, you know, the only variations are the ones that make it limitless. Uh, case finishing, hand dial, bezel, uh, and the uh, strap options. So in really no particular order, uh, we're going to start it up. So in no particular order, but starting with the blue one. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into it. 42 and a half millimeters in diameter, around 13 and a half thick, 46 on the tip to tip, 22 millimeter lug. It is, it does sport an exhibition case back to see the movement. You can see again the stylized S or 5 uh, etched on the rotor. Uh, what is the movement? Well, this is the upgrade, right? So this is a 4R36 movement which hand winds. And hacks, we pull out the crown to set the time, the seconds hand stops, one click out changes the day and date. Whoops. You will notice, uh, English and Spanish wheel, you will notice I do not need to unscrew the crown. It is not a screw down crown. It is a, um, a what we call push pull crown. So the watch is a 100 meters of water resistance. The crystal is your standard hard -lex crystal. The bezel is your standard 120 click. Nice rotating Seiko bezel, and the inserts to me appear to be uh, etched aluminum. Uh, again, standard SKX stuff for the most part. Um, I will address this now. Will SKX parts fit this? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I haven't tried. I guess I will. If somebody knows, you can chime in in the comments. Um, but I will eventually try to fit all the other parts to see if you can, um, uh, you know, if you want to really make it yours, you know, f fit the parts to it. Uh, price. They are all somewhere between 295 and 350 there are like three different tiers and it depends what you're getting you're getting a you're getting just stainless steel are you getting plated stainless steel are you getting a rubber strap a nylon strap a bracelet so that kind of changes the price among amongst the lineup but they are all somewhere between 295 and 350. uh let's see so i went over i think most of the good stuff let's look at the nice bracelet it is a uh, a pin a pin bracelet friction pin. I don't think it's pins and collars. It looks like definitely looks like cotter pins or friction pins. I told you exhibition case back. It is a screw down case back. It is a nice clasp, flip lock with the double push button. Of course, Seiko engraved. We'll just look at the tag. They're all SRPD models, and then the last two digits tell you what everything else is. The movement. They get to the retail price is two ninety five and a Seiko five tag. So that's one of them. We'll bring up the same watch in green, just because I thought the green was really nice. Kind of reminds me a bit of the Sumo. Uh, so just a nice, real, uh, just awesome, beautiful green. I don't know what to say. You know, a lot of the, the other four you'll see are just totally different, but I really liked what they did with the green. It does look amazing. Um, they do all glow in the dark. They do all use Luma Bright. I will do a loom shot uh, at the end. Uh, but let's, um, like I said, I want to keep the video semi-short, so we'll move on to the next one. Let's go blackout. I said they all use Luma Bright. They don't all use Luma Bright. There's two blacked out models, like this one, that does not use Luma Bright. So this, the case is 
PVD plated. It is first, I assume, sandblasted. It's not a satin finish, it's sandblasting. If you can really check out the finish, the finish on this is amazing. Ditto with the bezel, totally blacked out. Uh, plated hands, white seconds hand. Uh, whoops. The bezel was off center. I tried to center it, and then, of course, I wound up going too far with it. It is on a matching nylon strap with matching hardware. And of course, this is Seiko, so we don't miss a beat. The clasp, I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. I don't know what's fo what it's focusing on, because I can't see the viewfinder. It does say Seiko right here, if you can't see it. Uh, but looks really, really nice. Super stealthy. Another one to show you. So now we're on a rubber strap. But not just any rubber strap. It almost looks, <laughs> it looks like it's a PVD mesh, but it's not. It's rubber. Looks cool. Feels cool. There's your uh, signed uh, clasp again. Uh, beautiful dial. It's not black. Kind of a little, ah, little vintagey looking, a little patinaed. Definitely some patina looking loom, silver hands, nice red tip on the second. So they're all a little bit different. You check out the chaptering on this one is uh, light in color to offset the darkness of the dial. I mean, you know, like I said, guys, they're all the same watch. Just we're just doing different styles, different hands. The limit, the op obviously the options are limitless. Um, uh, Honestly, I'll be 100% with you, man. Uh, man, uh, I love, these watches are beautiful. I love what they did. They really went for style. So let's uh, go on to another one on a nylon strap. I picked this one because if I can get it on the dial, let's see. Come on, there you go. The dial is textured. Beautiful green dial with texturing. Orange offsets the seconds hand. The PVD is not black. Um, dare I say it's greenish? Actually, it might be. Or gray, dark gray. Maybe it's very dark gray. And kind of like a um, gun metal. And then, of course, matching hardware on the strap as well. Matching plating on the bezel. The, the back on all of them, obviously, though, is still unplated stainless steel. Um, I guess on something like this, you, you, your wrist is not going to rub against it, but on most of these styles, it will. The last one I want to show you, number six, is this really cool one with the vintage-looking dial. Again, it's not just one color. If you look around the circumference of the dial, you'll see it, you know, almost like an ombre pattern, I guess. It, it fades to a darker color, matching chapter ring looks amazing and oh, it's not running so we can wind it with the crown we don't have to pull it out because it's not a 200 meters water resistance it's 100 meters push pull crown um look at the strap they put it on on the bracelet beautiful mesh bracelet and just something different again these are all different things for seiko you know for, for us to see especially in the five lineup and a sign clasp again let's um I'll try one of them on uh, as I rotate the bezel for you. Uh, I'll try one of them on and then we'll do the uh, loom shot. But we know how these are going to fit already, so we shouldn't be surprised. So there it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist. This is obviously the blacked out version above the bone, below the bone. If you can wear an SKX, this is basically the same case size. Obviously not the same case because the crown tube doesn't screw down. But uh, like I said, I'll get into you know more of the particulars and what fits and what doesn't fit it uh, on in another video. Um, but you know I'm showing an all black one. I want to show you one of the other ones just in case the black kind of throws off your eyes. So let's just go with the green below the bone, above the bone. Obviously, I wear SKXs constantly. Um, there's the bracelet. So what are you looking at? You probably go up to like a seven and three quarter inch wrist because my wrist, is, my wrist, excuse me, is six and three quarters. Uh, let's do the loom. So the blacked out version has no loom. Uh, the one I did in the wrist shot before this one. So I'm not even gonna include it in this um, in this comparison, but I'm gonna flip out the lights and I wanna show you they're loom bright so they glow amazing, but there is one little added bonus on at least one of them that I spotted before. Well, it just so happens the way I line them up, not on purpose, uh, you can see. So on these three, I would say we have standard green loom bright if there is a, you know, a standard for them. Beautiful guys, no problem reading him. Anything else, you, you know, you'd be disappointed because it's a Seiko. But check these out, blue Luma Bright. Haven't seen. Um, well, no, I've seen blue. Obviously, we saw blue on the Solar Patty Divers. Um, not sure how long they've been doing blue, but you can see in contrast to the green. Obviously, green being the color that emits 
uh, the most light uh, for a compound. Uh, it has to do with the wavelength, uh, but the blue still looks really good, very easy to read. As you can see, it's not extremely dark in here, and there's still a breeze to check out. So that's it, guys. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the new, newly reimagined Seiko 5 collection. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, uh, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.